Hello students, I welcome you all to the e-learning sessions of Automobile Engineering. Myself Hardik Shah and during this lecture series, we will discuss some interesting topic in the subject of Automotive Electricals and Electronics, right? We have already started a new chapter on the battery and starting systems, right? We have already discussed about the main topics like lead acid battery, battery construction and working, right? I hope you will see this video till the end. To completely understand the topic and gain your skills in automobile engineering done i request you all to note down the queries which is arising during the lectures and ask in comment section or personally contact me i will try to solve all the queries as soon as possible done so now let's start our today's video Now next move to the secondary batteries means rechargeable batteries, right? So we don't often are secondary batteries, but it is much more common to talk about the rechargeable things. Okay. Now until the portable gadgets like cell phones become popular in you can say 1980s or 1990s, a uh, rechargeable batteries were relatively uncommon in things. So we can use it in everywhere like in toys and other lights. Okay. Now because they don't last anything like a, a disposable ones most of them either nickel cadmium or you can say nickel metal hydride batteries in it okay so in this in those days what was happening the most common rechargeable batteries were the lead acid batteries which are actually using in a car okay the, that was the rechargeable one okay so let's see what is the rechargeable batteries about all these things so first is lead acid battery that we have already discussed so what was that it is actually tried trusted and tested lead acid batteries have been in use with, uh, from the 19th century okay now with overall rating of the 12 volts they have six separate cells okay each producing 2 volt right now you can also say that it has uh, now each cell is has a spongy lead metal electrode as a negative and a lead dioxide electrode as a positive okay and sulfuric acid as a electrolyte okay now as the battery discharges both electrodes become coated with a lead sulfate and the sulfuric acid is largely converted into water okay while the electrons flow out around the external circuit to produce its power fine so that was the construction about the lead acid battery in very brief now what is that so it is actually made it possible to start cars without the help of the dangerously hand crank okay so normally you never have to recharge them because your car does it automatically because it is having the alternator inside okay so but if the battery uh, discharges to help the car or you can say to start up the gasoline engine and it actually gets recharged back from the engine power which is actually generating the electrical energy through the device which is called alternator so it will actually recharge the battery so you need not need to add a recharge from the outside okay now what is disadvantage so it is relatively very big and very heavy expensive also and cannot be fully charged or cannot be fully discharged up to minimum time okay so we have to uh, charge it many times now another problem is it is a toxic lead metal which can cause the environmental problem also if it is dumped in a landfills okay so this was about the lead acid battery next is nickel cadmium so what is nickel cadmium battery so they are actually widely used as a replacement for the disposable 1.5 volt batteries which is actually using in a toys and flashlights and power tools okay now they are relatively cheap it can be charged and discharged hundreds of time and properly treated and it will actually last long about the 10 or 12 years okay now although very dependable it's often said that nickel cadmium batteries need to be discharged fully before you charge them up or amount of charge they will store can be actually greatly reduced okay so you need to first discharge everything and then you need to recharge okay now this opinions vary on whether this is true or false okay so why it happens but as a rule of thumb you can say that regularly discharging batteries completely and then recharging them to the highest level it is a perfect practice okay now another problem with this battery is it is toxic cadmium material it is having it okay so if they are buried in landfills instead of properly recycled the cadmium can escape into the soil 
and it can pollute our water courses which is nearby okay so we not we cannot bury in a land okay so this was about the nickel cadmium battery next is nickel metal hydride that is nimh battery nickel metal hydride okay so what is that so nickel metal hydride batteries work in a similar way but suffer less from so they can say we can say that it is memory effect okay they become a popular which is alternative to nickel cadmium okay but because of the why because of the environmental concerns about the cadmium okay now nickel metal hydride batteries work more effectively in different gadgets like cell phones or toys okay which are actually top up for a quick recharge instead of complete discharge and recharge okay which is actually we are now using in a cell phone so it is actually one of the batteries which are actually uh, we are using right now that is nickel metal hydride batteries okay next is lithium ion battery so what is that lithium ion batteries are the fastest growing type of rechargeable batteries and there are probably lithium ion batteries in your cell phones thereafter mp3 players and laptop computers also okay so what why we are using everywhere what is the best in lithium so it is actually very lightweight metal that is easily forms the ion so that it's excellent for making the batteries now the latest lithium ion batteries can store about the twice energy as much as the nickel cadmium rechargeable batteries okay it can also work at the higher voltages and there are many environmental friendly but don't last long okay so we need to recharge it every time okay so even so uh, they can be charged and discharged 100 times and typically last for several years they are very great for everyday use in electronic gadgets because it is not meant for the last long we need to recharge it okay now how it works so when you know, we can just understand that when you uh, plug a cell phone or a laptop into power supply the lithium ion battery inside it start getting the chemical activity okay so the battery's job is to store as much as electricity inside it as possible okay and as fast as possible okay so it does this through the chemical reaction that actually connect the lithium ions which is actually having the lost as a electron to become the positively charged okay lithium ions from the one part of the battery to the another simple okay now when you unplug the power and use your laptop phone the battery switches into reverse okay so now the ion will will move into opposite direction and it will actually gradually discharge okay so this was about the lithium ion batteries which is actually using in electric cars also done next is fuel cells so we can say it is the future so they aren't actually battery but they are similar as much as because they are actually producing the electric energy through the chemical reactions so this was about the fuel cells we will discuss it in some next video okay so that's it in today's video we have discussed about the all the major battery types okay and in next session we will discuss more about the different topics of this chapter okay and we will also uh, learn about the how to test different batteries and what are the gravimetric tests okay so i hope you like this video and uh, i just want to say that if you have any query you can also write it in comment section i will try to solve as soon as possible fine so just keep learning and thank you goodbye